From Montgomery County to Baltimore City, let's bring in Rachel Menatoff now. Rachel, we know the Baltimore Museum of Art and the Walt Disney Museum, they decided to close down for the rest of the year because of the surge in cases we're seeing. Nicole, that's right, and both of these museums acknowledge that this is a disappointing reality, but say they, they want to do their part in slowing the spread of the virus and protect their visitors, staff, and volunteers. Two of Baltimore's iconic institutions, the Walter Art Museum and the Baltimore Museum of Art, will close their doors starting tomorrow, Wednesday the 25th. We felt very strongly that we were getting into a moment where the holiday season um, has been described as a super spreader event, and we didn't want to contribute in any way, shape, or form to that super spreader event by providing a place for people to congregate, um, or, but most especially, we just want people to be able to, um, you know, enjoy their families and stay home. Julia Marciari Alexander with the Walters Art Museum says even though the museum has only been open at 25% capacity and has taken extensive precautions, the rising COVID-19 numbers signal that this temporary closure is in everyone's best interest. The Baltimore Art Museum sent WJZ this statement saying in part, it pains us to close our galleries again, as we've heard from so many visitors, what a valuable respite they offer during these difficult times, but says it wants to do its part in slowing the spread of the virus. The BMA plans to reopen on January 6. Its sculpture gardens will remain open Wednesday through Sunday, weather permitting, and the Walters Art Museum is planning a mid-January return. And both museums are encouraging people to take advantage of their online virtual collections. And we've posted a link to those opportunities on WJZ.com. Live in Mount Vernon tonight, I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.